This is ABC 7 News at 6. Well, the California Academy of Science is the oldest institution of its kind in the West. Did you know that? Now it's being reborn as a first-of-its-kind museum of the future. Next year, the Academy is moving into a brand new building, and tonight Eric Thomas has a progress report on the drive to discover the ideal museum for the next century, this century. One pass over the new California Academy of Sciences, and you can see it's a museum unlike any other. The dramatic design is part of a plan to make it as environmentally friendly as possible. We also wanted to create a place where science was really accessible and exciting to people of all ages. The building itself is actually a giant science experiment, starting with a two-and-a-half-acre living roof. Last fall, curved steel beams were installed to create a rolling hillside effect. Then, layer by layer, the roof was assembled, adding insulation and drainage. Each section is carefully tested to make sure it's waterproof. Now, crews are adding the final layer, native plants in biodegradable trays made of coconut husks. The rooftop garden will be watered for a few months. Then, it's supposed to be self-sustaining and enjoyed for generations. Hopefully, our kids can say, oh, my, you know, my daddy did that. You know, he was up there working on the top of that roof. The outer edge of the roof will be surrounded with a glass canopy to create shade below and generate solar power for the building. It's made of glass panels that are being hauled to the roof by crane, then carefully lowered into place. Sandwiched inside the glass are 60,000 solar energy cells. So 20% of the light that hits it turns into electricity that feeds the building itself. Under this part of the roof, there will be a new planetarium. The fiberglass shell is complete already, and inside, work on a state-of-the-art space show is underway. You can choose where you want to go that day. You can decide, I want to go visit Mars. And using real data provided by NASA and other institutions, recreate what it would feel like to fly through space. And if you're interested in seeing what it's like to travel underwater, beneath the planetarium, there will be a huge coral reef tank. The deepest coral reef tank in the world is 25 feet deep, and it's a 212,000 gallon tank. The tank was created with cinder blocks. Now it's being sprayed with concrete that'll give it a rock-like appearance. Eventually, real rocks covered with live coral will be attached to the walls. That coral's being grown in a special nursery at the Academy's temporary building on Howard Street. There's also a smaller coral reef tank on display so visitors can get a preview of what the new exhibit will be like. Biologists say they need to acquire about 200 fish per month to be ready for the opening next year. We're doing it as sustainable as possible, and these animals are coming, some of them coming from the wild, and some of them, or most as we possibly can, are getting bred in captivity. This new emperor angelfish belonged to a private collector, but he grew too big for his tank and was just donated to the Academy. Every inch of storage space is filled with tanks and creatures waiting to be transferred to the new building. Four months ago, we introduced you to Howard, the first new penguin chick born and bred for the new building. These birds are part of an international breeding program where we all mix and match our birds to keep the genetics and the colonies strong. Today, Howard is thriving. He's learned to swim and has joined the adult penguins in a temporary exhibit while they wait to move into their new home in the new building. He's lively, active, and very, very popular with the crabs. Eric Thomas, ABC 7 News. The new Academy of Science is being built at the site of the old one in Golden Gate Park. It will also have a living rainforest inside, and tomorrow night you'll see what that will be like and some of the creatures getting ready for this big move.